Portable inflator. That one right here is made by AltoCraft. Purchased this on Amazon. And I'm impressed with this little guy. And I'm going to do some comparisons and explanations coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And uh, I have air compressors here. I've got a great big 60 gallon uh, Dewald. I've got a portable, somewhat portable porter cable with electric. They're kind of heavy to be carting around. If I need to uh, inflate something, I can use my Dewalt here. This is also a booster. This is also quite heavy. Well, with our nursery and greenhouses and everything else that goes around on around here, grandkids and footballs that end up deflated, beach toys, pool toys, things uh, up at the beach in the summertime or on the boat, it's nice to have something small and portable. Found this here on Amazon. It's uh, cordless, battery operated. This is also cordless, manually operated. And as you can see with the tape, this has been around a while. It still works. And I could use this to inflate that football with a whole lot of this going on. This will do it too, and it's this is extremely light. So what's what all you get with this thing? Well. You get the inflator, and I'll get you in close here, show you the display works on the back. It's got a little LED work light down here in the back of the battery. You can push the button, it'll tell you your battery levels. And you get this adapter that's got one of them, uh, what they used to call a cigarette lighter, plug in your vehicle. Now they call it a utility outlet. That can plug in there. There's a very long cord on here, Then this takes the place of the battery and you can run it off your vehicle battery if you're by the side of the road or whatever and you need to blow up a tire. Now if you're driving a semi or, some, or you've got a monster truck, this probably isn't the thing for that. You're going to need something quite a bit bigger and more substantial. But for you know regular small tires and with us, especially with our carts, we've got probably a dozen carts and trailers and every one of them's got the small pneumatic tires on it and they inevitably go low at the most inopportune times and I don't always want to drag an air hose out from the air compressor here so this is a solution for it. I saw this on Amazon and I thought for that price I gotta check it out, try it out and I've been doing that, been playing with it a little bit so I'll give you a little demonstration here, I'm gonna blow this football up I'm not gonna go out and inflate any tires because it's raining right now and I don't want to get wet Okay, some of the other things you get with this is uh, obviously you get a charger for the battery and it's got a little wall wart plug on it there. Fairly decent cord, I didn't need to unwind it because I was close to where I was charging it. You get a manual, you get this little guy here with some adapters in it for, of course we're going to use the needle here in a minute. Then you've got a little adapter here if you're blowing up uh, pool toys and that type of thing. And of course the other power source for running off your vehicle. So to put this little needle in, okay to put the needle in, you just back this lever off right here, stick this inside, don't go cranking away up in there. Just take it up flush so that it's like so. Clamp that down, now you're locked there. Okay, this little football here says inflate to 13 pounds. So on the back of your display here, push the middle one. That turns it on. If you keep pushing it, you can change between PSI, which is what I'm going to use, and say I think bar. That's the next one. The KPA and is that kilograms per centimeter. We're going to leave it on PSI. I'm going to take this up to. Whoa, we don't want it that high. Get down to 16 pounds. There we go, 16 pounds. Of course, you want to get your needle wet before you insert it. Yes, I just licked that. So we'll insert it here in this little football and pull the trigger. When it gets to 16 pounds, it shuts off. So there's my inflated football. 
right there. This one even glows in the dark. This is kind of fun to play with at night with the grandkids. So that's all blown up and ready to go. Um, this isn't very good in the snow because it kind of gets lost in the snow. But otherwise, it's fun to play with at night, hang it in front of a light, but I'm not advertising for this. Just a neat little toy, and it's been around a while. To use this to inflate a beach toy or, you know, one of them little pool rings or something like that, you have this little adapter here. It's the same type of thing. You just plug it in there until it comes up against the flange, lock that down, set your pressure on here. Of course, pool toys and that, you're, you're down to 5 to maybe 10 PSI maximum. Hold this on there and pull the trigger and away you go. It's just that quick. So there's just a neat little rundown of this nice little portable inflator. Like I said, it's light, it's portable, it's easy to take care of. So how long does the battery last? Well, I don't know. I haven't run it down yet. I did take it out uh, yesterday and air up all of our nursery carts. And there was quite a few tires I had to air up. And when I came back in, I had about a third of a battery left. There is an indicator on the back here to show you your levels. I uh, stuck it on the charger for... Well, I left it on overnight. I don't know how many hours it takes to charge, but charged right back up, and here we are again, ready to do a little of this, if the weather was nicer. And blowing this up with this was a whole lot better than doing it with this. Believe me. And it's nice with that auto shutoff fe feature. Again, uh, when I find a neat tool that I think is a good value and might become handy, I like to uh, bring it to my viewers. I bought this. Here's a little screenshot. So I'll put a link in the uh, description on one of these if you'd like to get it. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.